Yeah. I'm like, Why? wow, look at Booker <laughs> from about two years ago, no? I know. That picture. Anyway, that picture. she helped us revamp our kitchen last week. That was fantastic. This morning, she's talking to the people with smaller spaces. We are dipping into the paint can to help you guys choose the right colors depending on the dimensions of your home. Design diva Karen Booker is in the building. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, How girl? Are you? Let me tell you. Traffic. Yes. Yes. We were talking about it this morning. I myself can't. And I just can't. Anywho, let's let's lighten yeah. up our mood and lighten let's up our light space up. for mm -hmm. a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. I love this space. Well, we're in the yeah. living room. We're in the living room, and what do you notice? I really. Can I get a more specific Yeah, just question? anything. Just anything. What, it's warm. It? Yes. Um, all of the elements that you talked about are represented. Right. Anything specific um, to color? Popping. Yes. Neutrals but where pops? and pops. Um, what pops? The drapes. Yes. The lamps. The yes. accent pieces. And? And the, this carpet. The rug. Right. Because what we want you to realize is if you're going to be in a small space, if you're in a big space, you can do anything you want to do. But once you're in a small space, the aim is to make the space seem a little bigger, yeah. a little warmer. And it's really how you feel when you're in the space, right? So what is the science of that? So small space equal equals accentuating with ac bright Exactly, okay. with brighter colors. Because you know this, you right. know this, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. It, the science of it is how light, how, how the light deflects in the color. So the darker the color, the more that the, the light absorbs in that color. Oh. You understand? The lighter the color, then the light reflects. So it feels airy. So it feels airy. Okay. Right? And that's the science behind it. I see. That is why when you have a darker space, it's actually, you know, that whole light is just absorbed in okay. that color. So and that's why your walls are gray the, and mm -hmm. what is this color? That's green. Well, cel celadon. What it's is a celadon, celadon green. Celadon green is like this one here. So this is a new, is this like a trending color? It's a trending color. So we're purple gun, you know, just come out purple the other day. Of course, it's the purple here. You don't see it. Oh, in the throw. In the throw. But no, in the was, pillow, in the burlap pillow over there. But you said the purple was good for the walls. And the purple is good for okay, the walls just as checking. well. But remember now, we're dealing with a smaller space. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Right. So when you're dealing with a smaller space, I would prefer, I would recommend highly that you start, <laughs> God True bless word. you. Thank you. That you start with a really neutral color. Okay. Right? And then you bounce off. If you have to do an accent wall, make sure that you have the two the two walls, you know, adjacent to it, like really light. I love how gray is still a thing. And gray is it is has gray to be going anywhere anytime. It's not soon? going anywhere. It really isn't. It's gray clothing, it's gray, it's texture. Mm -hmm. And then no, you 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 um you you go on. We have some pit some um slides this morning All right. with regard to you know what color would you choose so if I were to say to you now Simone you you walk you move into a brand new space yeah. you're coloring your your studio your apartment what color would you choose for the wall for the walls if I were going to choose for the wall I'd go mm -hmm. in this family here or right. maybe this one here I'm a lighter you're a light okay and this is called grayish. see silk, silk and, and pine. pine okay can you see this it's right there. Yeah. There should have been some slides up. But anyway, silk and, silk and pine. Do we have the slides right? produced? Do we have any slides Unique, we have the slides? I can keep okay. talking until... All right, okay. here we go. Here we go. Ooh, love so this. you see, all right. See that? That's like that coastal aqua blue. This. Which just makes you feel. And remember, color is how you feel. And the pops of and yellow. And the pops of and yellow. Green. And the pops of green. So if you start like really basic and really neutral, then you're, that's your jumping off point. Then you can do anything that you want to do with your furnishings, with your rugs, with your accent pieces, and with your art. Clean canvas. Very, very clean mm -hmm. canvas. And then now you can change it up in the next year, in the next six months, whatever you want to do with that. But I you like know, how you the drapes are clean. neutral to book off. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the windows are and letting window. so much light. Light. Okay. <gasps> so love there you this go. Love too. All right. Now Which that's, that? your, that's taupe. Oh, I love that. Right, and taupe is like a, a grayish, then a mixture between brownie and gray. Love that. Right? So what you do now, even though the walls may seem a little darker, 
what it is because it is a mixture of the gray and and the, the brown you know the right the light really reflects and then what you'll have to do with that now is get a lot of white mm -hmm. and then it makes it crisp i was just gonna say i right? see the white in there you and see the white the whole right. and white. opening up on there you this go face. and white yeah. brings another dimension and white is light yeah you understand and the black and white pictures and the and black and white pictures yeah. and everything just goes just seamlessly and naturally and just absolutely absolutely beautiful so even if you know uh, there's another one that's a green, mm -hmm. right? And then you have... Is so, that green? Okay. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's green. Okay. It's pretty much closer to the one that you just chose yeah, a while ago. Yeah. Exactly. So the thing with this now, and if, you know, small spaces, a small space is called for what? Functional furnishings, mm -hmm. things like no clutter, right? If you have to go with a darker color, make sure that you accentuate with lots of white. So the tricks that you want to do now to make your home look a little larger, use mirrors mm -hmm. in strategic places mm -hmm. so that the light will bounce off the mirror. Big, the bigger the mirror, the, the bigger better? The bigger the mirror, the better. Okay. And reflective surfaces, reflective surfaces like, like silvers or mm -hmm. coppers or, mm -hmm. you know, anything metallic that can reflect. Okay. Right? Natural light. Always have the natural light coming in. Open up your windows. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this space. I love how right. you brought pieces of the artwork, the artwork elements right. of the artwork into the furnishings mm -hmm. i mean you there's something from the pillow from the throw from the drip mm -hmm. just tying the Tied. room together what this is now is a connected space yeah the thing is as you walk into your home you want to feel that sense of connection and the sense of connection comes through your furnishings you understand so therefore if you start with the neutral backdrop as we have been saying and you want to pop red right so you you can start with you know a red 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 drapes mm -hmm. for instance and then we've put gray in mm -hmm. the middle so it's not so in your face and it's not like you know it's just coming out at you it's like then you, it's like sentences with little exclamation with little points. exclamations yeah. and little pops so it's not overkill and then you've created so many separate areas so you have the living area like here living, with the neutral couch right over there you can read a little book and cock up your foot cock if you your, want and and over there now is of course you know let me just plug this one go over you see See that that table right there that's made in Jamaica what it, it is made in Jamaica is that by wood? Gary it is wood by nature's cost and he is the most fabulous 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 woodworker right now that I know and I have his pieces <laughs> yes, modern chic eh? modern chic industrial yeah. farmhouse chic and we're gonna get into farmhouse chic soon now it's the drapes over there are burlap yes I love those right and then we accentuated it of course it's the signature collection with the lace now, on top of one of those books over there are earrings. I'm going to get up. Are, Ooh, are there Just earrings? flash. Yes, sorry. Ah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> See the earrings? They have me. Oh, wow. I remember I always said that fashion. Yeah, it takes everything. home. Mm -mm. So once you, you know, you take the straw off of here, then it comes into your burlap. You understand? So anything that you see trending in fashion, you know, oh. you know, you know, it's going to come and down you put very it on soon. The pillow to home. As well. And we put it on the pillow. Now these are handmade. These are I, I don't see why we can't make these oh, here. Oh, lovely. Why can't we make these here? We can, you know. We why can. you don't do it? We can. And we are going to. Because you I'm see? like, listen, oh, we have such fabulous, fabulous crafts craftspeople here. We can make these you and can we can make it. pillows and stuff out of them. If you see the need and the niche, and miss, the niche just do right. it. This um, pillow too, of course. Crocus bag, mm -hmm. and then now with the embellished, the embellished um, roses, fabric roses and stuff. Love. So if, you know, another thing with your small space, if it's really, really tiny, do texture. Yeah. Light colors and texture. Okay. And you're good. Okay. Right? Boy, let yeah. me tell you, these lessons are fantastic, um, especially if you have a small space. If you have a small and space. And most people do. have small spaces because they're building these days. Every room is like it's this It's like big. this. They go so. up. Another tip for you too is to use the walls of your small space. Mm -hmm. Use the walls, you know, for, for function, for storage, for, you know, everything that you want to pick up. Use your walls. Okay. We've got to right? go. Um, yeah. But we're, where do we find you again? 96 Hope Road, guys. Please take out your Instagram. Head on over to the Instagram, Karen Design Diva Booker. Okay. Yes. And downtown. Join us. And downtown, it's the waterfront. Okay. The waterfront downtown or 96 Hope Road. We want to see you on Saturday. All so right. come, come visit There's us, the please. number and there's all the other information she just gave. Thanks for the lesson. <laughs> Thank Teacher you. Booker Design yes. Diva. Yes. Karen week. Booker. We'll be right back. <laughs>